How's it going everyone? We've got an update on another major free PlayStation 5 title that is dropping here shortly. We'll talk about that. Bit of an update on the future of the Assassin's Creed franchise. It's exciting to me in one regard, but at the same time, I have to temper my expectations and anticipation about Assassin's Creed these days. But right off the top, Hoyoverse has dropped a major update on Zedless Zone Zero ahead of its July 4th release. Noting Hoyoverse today unveiled all all the latest game content through its version 1.0 pre-release special program, including brand new plot content in New Eridu, the bustling commercial district, Luminous Square, the crucial adventurers based Scott Outpost, as well as a new playable agents Lucy and Piper from the Sons of Kaladin, as the game has also accomplished its ultimate target of 40 million global signups, all of the rewards and plentiful launch events will be available upon the game's official launch. Zenless Zone Zero is Hoyo vs. brand new urban fantasy action RPG in which a calamity called the Hollows has destroyed modern society. New Eridu, the last remaining metropolis, has risen against the odds amidst the destructive catastrophe to become the last bastion of modern civilization. In the game, players assume the role of a proxy accompanied by unique characters as they explore hollows, battle enemies, complete commissions, and reveal the mysteries behind New Eridu. The game demonstrated its vibrant, unique art style over the previous three rounds of closed beta tests with distinctive characters and factions such as the Cunning Heirs and a Bellobog Heavy Industries and has developed an exciting and dynamic combat system with a balance between accessibility and complexity while also creating an immersive urban experience including Sixth Street where players can meet the citizens of New Eridu, grab a copy, or savior the city's delicacy. Zenless Zone Zero is dedicated to continuously bringing better gameplay experiences to proxies. As such, in global release version, players will not be able to only stroll through 6th Street, but also freely explore a broader urban district in Luminous Square. Strolling around the city, players might find Bangboo who need help, cargo trucks hidden throughout the city with various rewards and many more supplies. Additionally, Scott Outpost, which overlooks the massive Hollow Zero, serves as another operational base for explorers who wish to challenge themselves and defeat terrifying enemies in Hollow Zero and Shiyu Defense. To expand its services, random play has also opened a second floor which players can relax, play music, or customize their photo walls. With these significant area updates, the urban culture of New Eridu has come to life like never before. Beyond the area updates, proxies will be able to unlock Chapter 2 interlude in which Officer Zhu Yan makes her official debut in Chapter 3 of the main story where the members of Victoria Housekeeping disclose their true colors. Moreover, Lucy and Piper, new characters from the Sons of Kaladin, can join your squad as playable agents, and more newly designed will also be ready to accompany players into combat. In version 1.0, players can set their preference for signal search in, uh, in advance to guarantee they obtain their design S rank. In preparation for the official release, Zenla Zone Zero has prepared generous in-game rewards, including up to 1,600 polychromes, 70 master tapes, 20 encrypted master tapes, and 80 boupons. Players can obtain all the rewards by advancing their in-game progress, participating in global launch events and experiencing numerous time-limited in-game events including friendship supervision and watch your step all of that coming with zenless zone zero with its official release on playstation 5 pc and ios and android it'll be dropping on july the 4th this is a free-to-play title that is going to get a lot of interest given that it's a hoyoverse game and uh, we'll see the sustainability love love it given the success of genshin and honkai uh, star rail I would imagine zenless zone zero is going to attract a similar level of interest Speaking of attracting interest, I think this is going to get a lot of people talking. Ubisoft CEO and Yves Gilman has noted that multiple Assassin's Creed remakes are planned. And on top of that, they are restructuring how they are doing their Assassin's Creed releases. So it was noted players can be excited about some remakes, which will allow us to revisit some of the games we've created in the past and modernize them. There are worlds in some of our older Assassin's Creed games that are still extremely rich. So obviously, the rumor that has been around is that Assassin's Creed 4 is going to be getting a remake, which... It's a little bit surprising to say the least because while we do get remakes of games from the PlayStation 3 era, Dead Space, for example, recently got a remake and I'm sure Resident Evil 5 is going to get a remake. Dead Space and Resident Evil 5 were both uh, relatively early on in the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 era. Dead Space came out in the fall of 2008. Resident Evil 5, which hasn't even gotten its remake confirmed and is still probably 
you know, a couple of years out. That was a March of 2009 title. Assassin's Creed 4 came out in October of 2013. That game was the, like, last cry for the PlayStation 3, and in fact, it was a cross-gen game. AC4 was a launch title for both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. I personally did my entire playthrough of AC4 on the PlayStation 4, at least my uh, completionist run initially on the PlayStation 4. Nevertheless, uh, it looks like they are going to be remaking the game. What I am a little bewildered by is Assassin's Creed 2 seems like the obvious Assassin's Creed game to remake. Maybe it's from the standpoint of if you do an AC2 remake, you're committing to doing AC Brotherhood and Revelations, and I highly doubt that Ubisoft, of all publishers, is going to bake all three of those games into one release. I don't know. Maybe they would, but uh, I just don't foresee them doing something like that. Also... It is interesting, how are you going to monetize these games even more? Because that is very much what Ubisoft wants to do these days. They want to monetize these games beyond the initial $60, $70 purchase. They want you buying, you know, in-game cosmetics, so on and so forth. And they're gonna, I would imagine if there's significant resources being allocated to doing a remake, you're also gonna figure out how to add more microtransactions to them. At least I would think uh, that they would go even heavier on the microtransactions, do their early access gimmick, gold edition season pass, which Assassin's Creed 4 did have, like DLC. There's like gold editions for the majority of Assassin's Creed games, in fact, but you get the idea. Uh, it does feel like they're doing it even more and more. Also, as far as going forward, it was noted that Ubisoft wants to do uh, smaller scale Assassin's Creed titles, noting there will be plenty of experience variety. The goal is to have Assassin's Creed games come out more regularly, but not for it to be the same experience every year. There are a lot of good things to come, including Assassin's Creed Hex, which we've announced, which is going to be a very different game from Assassin's Creed Shadows. We're going to surprise people, I think. It is interesting because... You know, Assassin's Creed used to be a legit annualized franchise from... Well, we can go back to 2009. 2009, we had AC2. 2010, Brotherhood. 2011, Revelations. 2012, AC3. 2013, AC4. 2014 was Assassin's Creed Unity. 2015 was Assassin's Creed Syndicate. 2016 was the off year, but even in 2016... They released Assassin's Creed the Ezio Trilogy. 2017, you had AC Origins. 2018, you had AC Odyssey. 2019 was an off year. 2020 was AC Valhalla. Then you had a couple off years. You had Mirage in 2023. And then now you have Shadows in 2024. You can't possibly expect to do a Shadows scale game every year. And that is not the expectation. They're going to continue to monetize those games by releasing expansions. Much like they did with Valhalla with Dawn of Ragnarok. But you're not getting new releases. But you can do something like AC Mirage. You can do smaller scale games. And if you're throwing in the remakes... VR titles, which I'm not too crazy about, and everything else in between. There's certainly uh, a lot of potential, but I just think about it from the Ubisoft lens. They're very much about monetizing these games beyond their initial life cycle. And Mirage was initially to be an expansion for uh, Valhalla that they just spun into their own game, ODST style, but you get the idea. I am going to be interested how Ubisoft is going to apply their own methodologies of what they want in terms of financial reward out of these games and also uh, prioritizing consistent, more consistent releases. And I feel like that would be a little bit more difficult to do with remakes as well, but you could easily go back to the remake and add the more, um, let's say, egregious microtransaction practices in older assets. Like, if you were to do an AC2 full-on remake, I'm sure you could figure out microtransactions and how to add those throughout AC2. I'm sure these are things that Ubisoft is very much in discussions about. But that is going to do it for me. Again, Zenless Zone Zero, massive updates on that game as far as the content that will be rolling out on launch day July the 4th. And the future of Assassin's Creed looks somewhat exciting at the same time it is Ubisoft, so I am left to temper my expectations. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.